Thank you, Father Galen. I could easily speak for a whole hour or a whole day on this topic, um, but I'm gonna, only going to keep it to three minutes. I'm going to share with you some of the highlights from my call uh, to be a priest. So I remember as a little boy going to church, and I was always amazed by the priest. There was something about him, I don't know what exactly it was, but I remember looking at the priest and thinking, wow, there's something special about him. But fast forward to when I was maybe 11 or 12, I, I started to doubt whether or not God existed. I think deep down I believed, but my dad's not, not Catholic, so I started to wonder, like, oh, he doesn't go to church. And also, many of my friends who maybe were Catholic, many of them and their families didn't go to church either. So I started to question, is God real? Like I said, deep down, I, I believed that he was, but I had all these questions. And then when I joined high school, I was asked to be a leader at a Catholic youth conference. And that question was answered. I encountered Jesus in a profound way where I knew that he was real and that he loved me. And that moment changed my life. I didn't know exactly how it would change my life, but I soon realized that it was a daily decision to follow Jesus, that each and every day I had to give him permission and say, okay, Lord, I choose to follow you today. And when I finished high school, I wasn't sure exactly what to do. I, I had applied to university. I got accepted. But in my heart, I felt like God was calling me to something else. And I was invited to be a Catholic youth minister, to go to Australia and then to Ireland. So I said, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this out. I just felt that that was what the Lord was calling me to do. So I spent a few years doing that. And I was amazed. I was surrounded by people who really believed in Jesus, whose whole life was centered on prayer. And um, I also met so many amazing priests. I met older priests, younger priests, priests of all different personalities. And what I discovered was that amazement that I had as a little boy looking up at the priest was starting to reignite in my heart. And so I asked a very dangerous prayer, but also or a question, a very dangerous question, but also a beautiful question. God, are you calling me to be a priest? And when I, when I, when I asked that question, I was really afraid. But then there was excitement. And I felt like God was saying, yes, Tim, I am calling you to be a priest. And so I went to, uh, to talk about it with, with the local pastor. And he told me, Tim, don't worry. If this is from God, the desire will only grow and grow and grow. So don't worry. Keep living your life. Keep praying every day. Keep going to Mass. Keep going to confession. And, and you'll know. And so that's what I did. I kept on praying. I kept on working. I kept on going to Mass and confession. And eventually it got to the point where I needed to do something about it. And it was around that time that someone had told me about this community called the Companions of the Cross, how they're based in Ottawa. And so I went on their website and everything I read just really resonated in my heart. That they were a community, a brotherhood of priests, that their mission was evangelization, that they were devoted to Mary and the Eucharist, and faithful to the church teachings. And I knew like, oh, I have to check out these guys. So that's what I did. I, I started to, to visit and to get in touch with them. And over the course of two years, I applied and, and was accepted. And now it's been about eight years since I joined. And not all those times have been easy. There's been many challenges, both with studies and you know, living in community like any family but it's been so rewarding and I've been so blessed. I've also been incredibly blessed to be here at St. Tim's for my pastoral internship this year. And uh, it's been, you know, just a great privilege to meet many of you and, 
and to learn from Father Galen and Father Brenton. So I just want to encourage you to pray for vocations. Please pray for me. Uh, please, God, next year I'll become a deacon and the year after a priest. And please, please pray also for more vocations to the priesthood. If there's any young men here, maybe you've thought about the priesthood. I just want to encourage you not to be afraid. Do not be afraid. Because God's will is the only thing worth doing. So no matter what your vocation is, God has a plan for your life. So thank you so much and God bless you.